The S24 Ultra is the best phone available, I think, right now. I think it's the best phone, probably the best Samsung phone that's ever been made. And right now might finally be the time to buy one if you're interested because right now you can get an extra $150 off instant, tr instant credit towards the phone. So they still have the $750 max trading credit. If you get the 256 in blue or in green, the exclusive colors on Samsung, they're giving you a $150 instant discount. So that lowers $150 off the $1299 and they're still offering up to $750 trading credit maximum. So that is a pretty good deal. And if you've been interested in the phone, it's got a lot of good things going for it. It's got all day battery, 5,000 milliamp. It's got the titanium in it. It's got the 200 megapixel camera. It's got the new five times telephoto that's in here. You can still do the hundred times super zoom, reach out and touch stuff. And I've really enjoyed this phone. I made a lot of videos about it. I've really enjoyed using it. And well, I saw that they had a sale on it right now. So I thought, of course, come here and let you guys know. I've got an affiliate link in the description if you're interested, but I think it's a good phone. And if you've been on the fence, if you've been waiting, trying to see if another deal comes available, if you're interested in the blue or the green, well, it's kind of a no-brainer. Sadly, they don't offer it for the other colors. I wish it was a blanket $150 discount. But if you get it from $1299, take $150 off. And this is for the 256 model, not the 512 or the one terabyte. But if you take $150 off, that goes from $1299 to $1149. And then if you get $750 off trading credit, that lowers it down and makes it a pretty palatable price. Because let's face it, this is an expensive phone, but it's got all the bells and whistles, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It's got the 2600 nits brightness on the screen, which has been really nice. It's got the anti-reflective coating. I like it. I, I've used this phone extensively. I've made a lot of videos, like I said. I've reviewed it thoroughly. And if you're interested, I've got a full review. You can click on the, the little pop-up card right there, and that'll take you and show you my full thoughts on it. But... Looking at the landscape, I mean, I've tested a lot of phones. I've tested out the one iPhone 15 Pro Max, the OnePlus 12, S24 Ultra, S24, S24 Plus, uh, Oppo Find uh, X7. There's, there's lots of different phones that are available, but one thing that's consistent, that's always consistent, is pretty much Samsung. They're available globally. They're especially available here in the United States. Samsung does a good job with that. They've got enticing trade-in deals, and... Got a lot of features, especially when you tack on seven years of support. So you've got seven years of operating system updates. You've got seven years of security patches. I think that's pretty meaningful, especially when you take a look at what the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 has been able to accomplish. It's got all the benefits of the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 last year, and it's got the nice always-on display, which I also really enjoy. It's got a lot of cool things that I really appreciate in a phone. Of course, you've got the S Pen, which is also nice. I use the S Pen all the time. And if you're not in the, if you don't like the folds, but you like the S Pen and you like having a big phone, this is pretty much the only phone on the market that really offers anything like that. If you take a look in the United States market, especially nobody but Samsung has a flagship level phone that has any sort of stylus that goes along with this. So having that S Pen with that stylus support, and then for people who like to do multitasking, One UI 6.1 is fantastic for that. It's got all the AI updates that are in here. You've got the circle to search, the generative edit. You've got interpreter mode. You've got summarization of recordings and web recorder app or web, websites and things like that. So there's a lot of cool things that Samsung's been doing, which of course they borrowed from Google. <laughs> They're pretty much all uh, Google smart features, but I think that Samsung runs them just as well. And you don't have to worry about stuff not coming to it because the AI features, Samsung's putting them on all their S24 phones. They even rolled out the One UI 6.1 update recently and gave a lot of these smart features to like the S23 series phone. So if you've been on the fence, if you've been waiting, if you, because not everybody likes to buy a phone on day one. Like, let's face it, day one, the phone comes out. There are good pre-order deals and things like that, but you got to wait on the reviews. You got to wait and see how it goes. There were a couple of things people were frustrated about in the beginning, especially like the lack of vibrancy in the screen. And also they were having issues with some people were saying they were graininess in the screen. Some people were complaining about stuff like that. But I think by and large, that big vividness update that they did where you can control the vividness on the screen itself and the display settings, I think that was a big win for them. And I think it made everybody happy. Like I like the more neutral screen. I, I still use the more natural looking display, but I understand where people were coming from with the whole, okay, we've had very vibrant screens with Samsungs for a long time. Well, now you can get that. And of course, they've had a lot of improvements with the camera. I know some people were complaining about the camera when it first came out, 
but there have been a lot of improvements there as well. So if you want the best flagship that you can get, if you don't want an iPhone, or if you're looking to come over from an iPhone, I think the One UI experience with Samsung offers a really great alternative. And those things that you might be missing out on, if you don't have an iPhone, you've got Samsung Pay, you've got the S Pen, you've got DeX, you've got wireless DeX, you've got all the smart features. AI is not even a conversation that they're having in the iPhone world yet. That we have seen reports that Apple might be licensing some AI stuff from Google, which would be cool. That's very similar to what Samsung has done, but it's not there yet. So if you like all that stuff, plus there's the Apple Watches too, you've got the Galaxy Books, you've got the Galaxy Tablets, Samsung makes the best tablets. And of course it's nice because with One UI you can get your messages on the tablet or the phone. So there's a lot of great benefits outside of just looking at the phone itself. But of course you've got the Gorilla Victus armor uh, on the front and the back. You've got the titanium built into it. You've got great all day battery life. You've got a nice complement of cameras. The cameras are top notch. And of course, if you like to do content creation and things like that, you can use the S Pen as a remote shutter. You can use it to activate the camera. You can flip it from front to back camera. You can start recording. You can take a picture. There's a lot of nice features that are built into it. So Samsung really is, I think, the best phone out there for multitasking. You want to have multiple apps open. And you can use the S Pen along with that. So I like that stuff. If you're interested, uh, I've been using the Samsung silicone official case. I've been using this since it came out. I think it's a pretty decent case. I got it with the trading credit. Well, <laughs> I used the free credit whenever I pre-ordered it. But there are a lot of nice cases, a lot of accessories that you can get. And the nice thing about the Samsung cases, they come with a free anti-reflective screen protector with the case. So that's been one of the nice things. The anti-reflective coating that they have on here I think is nice, especially when you're outdoors or it doesn't catch the reflections and stuff. It makes it easier. And then that 2600 nits brightness, it's pretty much no-brainer. Of course, it has to be an adaptive brightness mode, but whenever you turn the brightness up outside and that 2600 nits brightness kicks in, you can see this clear and plain as day whenever you're out in the sunshine. So I like it. I've used it extensively. It's great for gaming. It's probably just about the best gaming phone that you can get out there. It competes with all the other ones. And Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, it's going to be good for years to come. <laughs> it's not like chips of yesteryear where they were good for three years, four years, five years. This one's supposed to be supported for seven. I don't really believe it so much with Google, but with Samsung and the way they provide their software updates, the way they update their phones, the way they push out things, the way they're responsive to the community and fix things on the fly, I think they've done a lot of good things over the last couple of years to really solidify themselves as the best when it comes to software support in the Android world. So yeah, if you're looking for an Android phone, you're looking for a flagship phone, you've been thinking about trading in your S23 Ultra, your iPhone, your Z Fold 5, you're tired of using a folding phone, you want to go back to a big giant six inch screen all the time, there's a lot of merit to it. But right now, again, I've got affiliate links in the description, but an extra 150 bucks off the 256 on the blue or the green, if you like those colors, well, you can save some serious money that way, get your max trade in value of up to 750, depending on what you trade in, it could work out well for you. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.